Okay, my name is Vital Weininger. I'm an engineer for Tesla. I work on the infotainment system. So I'll give you a, a walkthrough of the 17-inch touchscreen. This comes standard with all vehicles. Um, as you can see, we've done many innovative things on this touchscreen. It's 3G connected, so you're always going to have a connection to the internet. So you can have a full web browser, and you can full screen if you'd like. We also have a navigation system that shows right now that we're at the uh, convention center in Las Vegas. This is a multi-touch touchscreen, so you can do gestures like zoom in, zoom out. We also have an, a media system that we've built in. We've got internet radio stations. Right now we've got tuning radio and slacker radio built in. You also have your standard FM, AM, Sirius, satellite radio. So let's say we want to go to listen to a rock station. You can listen to BBC Radio 1, London. While we're driving. And some of the more innovative things that we've done is we've, we've taken the buttons that are normally in the dash of a vehicle and we've put them on the touch screen. So as you can see, the only two buttons that we actually have that are hard buttons are the hazard switch and the glove box. Everything else is on the touch screen. So the doors are controlled on the touch screen, the trunk, the front trunk and the rear trunk are controlled on the touch screen. Also the lights. You control those on the touch screen and the car shows what it's doing. The sunroof will be retractable and controlled as well on the touch screen. On the bottom you'll have persistent HVAC and volume controls, so it'll be very easy to control the basics. You'll also have redundant controls on the steering wheel that you can use. On the instrument cluster, this is also a digital instrument cluster, it's an LCD, so it shows some feedback of what you're doing on the touch screen. For example, the radio station is shown on the instrument cluster. We also have uh, vehicle performance information, backup camera, phone app, and after production, we hope to develop a SDK for developers to write their own apps for the vehicle. But it's basically very reconfigurable and uh, skinned, and we designed all of it in-house, so we have a lot of opportunity to develop it over time and really, really improve it. Can you, for example, full screen the, the map? Yes. Oh, electronic. So as you can see, it, this is um, real-time Google Maps. And the navigation system is from Google as well, the standard Google navigation. We're actually developing our own uh, turn by turn navigation that's not uh, being shown to show.